All right, guys, top of the eighth inning here. A little bit of excitement mounting as the Mets have a 3-2 lead. Noah Syndergaard coming in later in the game and shutting down the Dodgers hitters. Hopefully he'll be back for the eighth, if not the ninth, as uh, the Mets try to hold on to this one-run lead and add to it here in the top of the eighth inning. Now, for those of you who might have missed it in another video earlier in the game, the sixth inning, I actually recorded a home run by Daniel Murphy. It was his third of the series. And Chris Hatcher comes up to play for the Dodgers here. So... I'm excited, but I'm trying to kind of reserve it. Um, the Mets could be going to the NLCS. We'll have to see what happens, though, here in the eighth inning as they have a chance to add to their lead. We'll see if they can do it. David Wright hitting one. Oh, right to the freaking second baseman. David Wright has really not had a good series. That looked like that was like his best swing in the series, too. I mean, look at that. Beautiful. Boom. Oh, no, that's not him. That's uh, Daniel Murphy. That was the best swing in the series, or best swing tonight. Huge home run there to put the Mets on top, 3-2. And that's how the score stands right now as Murphy comes up again. Let's go, Murphy! He's a triple away from the cycle, which has never happened in MLB postseason history. Could I be recording postseason history? Probably not. But we'll see. We'll see. The chances are possible that he could get a triple. Which has never happened in postseason history. There's a first time for everything, they say. is not the first time that the umpire blew the call, but anyway. 0-1 there on a strike that should have been a ball. And Hatcher with the 0-1 pitch. Here we go. So exciting. This game has been really great, I have to say. 3-2 Mets here in the 8th inning. Tension's running high. That is ball one. Let's go Mets! Let's go Murphy! Murphy should definitely be the LDS MVP if there was such a thing. There's not. But if it was, I mean, who else are you going to pick, really? Wright hasn't done much. And right now it doesn't look like Murphy's going to do much. How number two? It's funny how these innings sometimes are really long and sometimes it's like, what, three minutes long? But anyway... Yeah, um, Cespedes did have a couple big hits during the series. Um, David Wright hasn't done much. Uh, who else? Lucas Duda hasn't done much. Conforto hasn't done much. Wilmer Flores, eh. Really, a lot of the Mets lineup has been a no-show, but you wouldn't know it with how many runs they've scored in the series. At least in that one game, and then every other game has been so-so. All right, Cespedes is up, so this will be three big hacks. Hopefully one of them will hit the baseball, but if not, we'll get to watch a guy swing a bat as hard as he can, and that's kind of entertaining. In a comical kind of way. Cespedes up to bat. I wonder if he'll swing at the first pitch. No, he didn't. All right, proving me wrong, Cespedes. This is a whole new leaf for you. I don't know how to feel about this. Come on, Cespedes. You better not be getting another pitcher out there. That's not Bartolo Colon. No, I want to see Bartolo Colon in the game. That's just Familia, the great closer. No, I want Bartolo Colon. Hopefully they don't bring the closer in in the eighth. I mean, they really don't have to. and They have other options to go to before... If they get to Familia. There's the swing and miss. There we go. Swing at one that's not a strike, Saspi. The Grom and Syndergaard sharing pleasantries in the Mets dugout after uh, shutting them down for the seventh. That was a really good inning. The Mets needed an inning like that from their pitching. The Grom has had some shaky innings. I mean, he's gotten the results, but, you know, Syndergaard coming in and just striking out two in this inning, that was big. Now, I'm hoping Syndergaard comes out for the next inning. I, I really don't see why he wouldn't. Hey, Cespedes is showing some plate discipline there, not swinging at the ball in the dirt. Maybe I was wrong about you, Cespi. Probably not, but maybe. All right, eighth inning here, crunch time, if you will. Dodgers down by one. Let's go, Mets! Oh, come on, Cespi. You're holding up the game. When usually you're a bet, select the quickest part of the game. I do like Cespedes. I always wanted the Mets to get him. So it's good they got him. A little surprising, actually. Oh, he actually didn't swing at that one either. That looked like a swingable one for him. Doesn't mean he would hit it, but it looked like he was going to swing at it. So I guess that's all you can really ask for. Mets dug out, feeling the intensity here. But also the pressure. There's a lot of pressure when you're leading by one in a playoff game toward the end of the game. No guarantee. Dodgers have two more at-bats. There's 
the swing. There we go. Cespedes is swinging at everything he can, and he goes down swinging to end the eighth. When we come back, can the Mets hold this lead? We'll find out.